Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Lately, I have been doing videos answering questions that are frequently asked on my channel. And I think these are great topics because I feel many people are experiencing the same problem. Um, these questions come up very often. So I think um, answering this question in the video would be very helpful. So the question today is actually uh, two questions that are gonna be answered in one video. And those questions are one, can you trim roots of your plants when grown in hydroponic? And two, I have root rot. Is there anything I can do to save the plant? So I'm gonna show you exactly what I do to try to save the plant. This may not always work, but it, it will work for the most part. And also this the question of can you trim the roots? Yes, you can. So today I have a plant here that we're going to use as subject to answer uh, the two questions. And um, this plant has been suffering with uh, root rot. You see there? The roots are going bad at the top right here. It's turning brown. And um, it's kind of dying back. But the, the good thing with these is uh, uh, once the root dies back, sometimes they will grow new roots in the center. So around, it looks like it's dead. But then in the center, they grow new roots. And those roots are pretty fresh. And they're, they're, they're keeping themselves alive and basically is hanging on uh, to a thin string. We're going to cut the roots and then we're going to condition the roots back uh, to full health again. The, the, the one question was, can you cut the roots? We're gonna cut the roots today. And the other one is, uh, is there a way to help the plant or um, address the plant when it has root rot? So here, you see, um, it's rotting right here. And sometimes you can tell that it's rotting by the smell of the roots. So it's, if it smells funky, then um, the roots are bad. If it smells like kind of like medicine-like, that means your roots are healthy. So uh, I'm going to cut the roots back to here. Uh, you don't want to cut it all the way because if you cut it all the way, uh, the uh, it will potentially kill the entire plant. So uh, cut it to around right here just leave a little bit of the the dead part alive and that will help kind of like um take up uh, like a wicking uh, mechanism to take up uh, nutrients so here i have my scissor okay so you see how much of the roots that we have left now what we're going to do is we're going to fill the container with plain water uh, uh, you can rinse this out a little bit um, and then we're going to give it new water. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, rinse this and then I'll put fresh water in and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, I have the roots all nice and clean and I also clean the container. You see the roots, uh, I kind of rinse it off a little bit. So what we're going to do now is we're going to, um, you see where the roots are? Um, we're going to fill the nutrients to uh, touch that root a little bit right here, like uh, halfway to that. Uh, just fresh water out of your faucet. <laughs> All right, here it is. This should be the right level. You see how it's covering half of the roots. And uh, there's a little bit of an air gap right there, so that's what you need. So now what we're going to do next is give it some plant food or nutrients. Uh, if you don't know how much to give the plant, whatever uh, your container is, um, go half strength. Okay, so just do half strength. Here I'm using the Aero Garden plant food, so I'm going to give it a few drops. There you go. And I'm just gonna shake this up like so. Get my spoon and stir it up. And that is it. I have some plant food in there. So what we did was we cut the roots and we, le we left about an inch of, of the roots left. And then we cleaned it out, put it into a fresh container of water I didn't pH or anything like that. Um, you can if you want, but you don't need to. And then give it a few uh, drops of plant food or nutrients, which is uh, half strength, whatever you, your bucket is. 
and we're going to wait to see if the roots will grow back so i will update you guys once the plants grow some roots and we'll see how it goes okay today is five days later and let's take a look at our plant and see how it's doing look at that there are new roots forming you can see right here from the side and the old roots are still there but it's started starting to uh, die away and then you see there there's some new uh, roots forming into the water and that is a good sign and also there are some new fuzzes and those are usually the air roots let's let's take a look you see those fuzzes right there those are the new air roots and it is forming nicely so this plant is making a lot of progress in just five days it sprouted new roots and then it sprouted some more from the top and then that eventually will go into the nutrients water and then it's going to be alive all over again so uh, this method will work for most plants uh, if you have root rot on some of your uh, plants that you're growing uh, it's worth a shot i mean instead of just throwing your plant away uh, you can just try it cut some of the roots that are dead or rotted away rinse it off make sure you wash all the nasty slime that could possibly form and then put it into clean water you don't have to ph just add a little bit of plant food or nutrients uh, go half strength or a little less and uh, if you have an air supply it would be even better but i don't have an air supply to pump into this but uh, it still works so uh, air supply, like a pump and stuff like that, would definitely enhance um, your chances of uh, success of growing new roots to save your plant. So uh, you can do it both ways if you're growing cracky. And normally when you grow cracky, uh, many people just grow like leafy greens, uh, sometimes uh, peppers and sometimes tomatoes. Um, normally nobody will grow radish in this kind of system, but uh, you can. But um, yeah, if you have uh, issues, then try it out and try to save your plant so you don't have to throw it away. So I hope this helped you guys for those that have asked. I mean, I get this question as a lot and um, it's been a while and, you know, the, the questions keep coming. So uh, I hope that helps you guys. Just give it a shot. And if it works, th that's great. You guys saved your plants. So um, let me know what you um, done or if, if you have success when you did it and thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe